Urban Decay Face Bond Self-Setting Waterproof Foundation. Actually, the real deal. We're gonna go into all of this today. I'm gonna be doing three different wear choices between the lightest coverage, the medium coverage, and the heavy dutiest coverage and see how well do those claims hold up because I am a powder lover. I have oily skin and bossy pores. Also, we're gonna take the dive. We're gonna take the plunge and definitely find out how waterproof is waterproof. Okay, we're gonna do the full face dunk. Urban Decay sent me some of these in PR and I'm so excited about it because I wanted to test this out because this sounds like the perfect product for somebody with my personal skin type. The fact that Urban Decay has 40 shades is amazing because there are a lot of different options in here and they did send me two options. I have the light neutral in 10 and the light neutral in 12. So it's a little touch darker than the 10. The first day that I tried this, I used these products the way I tend to use most of my foundations with a blender. Now the blender is the lightest coverage and it was super easy to apply. I will also say the precision no mess dropper is definitely a nice feature of this because it is like a serum in a way, the way it drops out and it improves the skin texture feel. It also has 3% neosinamides in it, which is clinically tested. So, okay, the packaging is great. The claims are great, but does it actually deliver? With applying this with the sponge, I can say I really liked the coverage. You could still see my freckles. It was very natural. It's really what I've been gravitating to quite a bit over the past few months, but I couldn't just stop there. I needed to try the other coverage style the medium and the full coverage obviously to find out how is this going to work for a variety of skin types also just the different ways I like to wear makeup it depends on the event sometimes if I'm just running around I want the light coverage but if I'm gonna be doing an event I want to know I can trust this to do a little bit more heavy-duty lifting I can say as far as the waterproof claims go I did do a power walk in really hot weather it is still really hot here in Florida test one I I am going to be going on a very hot and sweaty walk in late August in Florida. So this is the before. Get a nice big close up here of what everything looks like. I know the Midwest has kind of been cooling down, but not here. I was super duper sweaty and I can say that this really stayed on for just my normal Florida living. Okay, I just did almost a two mile walk with the dogs. You can see I am a little sweaty, but I don't know guys, this isn't bad. I'm trying to get in some light. This is natural light with a little bit above me. It's actually not terrible for being the thinnest layer because I used it with a beauty blender. We're gonna be testing this all week. You can definitely see I'm sweaty here. <laughs> but you know, I still see coverage. I still feel like if I had to go run an errand, I'd still be good. Again, with the lightest amount of coverage. Not mad at this, honestly. Still feeling put together. So let's see how day two goes, shall we? I am outside quite a bit. So I was able to really test to see if this would work for me, be waterproof enough for my day-to-day -day life on the lightest coverage. And I can absolutely say yes. Yes, it is. Okay, y'all, it's wear test day two, and I have not given myself a ton of time to play with. So we're gonna jump right into day two with these products. And it says for that next level of just coverage, use your favorite foundation brush. And my favorite happens to be a Merit foundation brush. I've already applied a pore smoothing primer. So we're just gonna jump right in. And I don't know why I was just immediately put things directly on my face, but I do. 12 that I'm using right now, the little bit darker shade. Put the lighter one right up under the eyes. I have somewhere to be in like 30 minutes, so I have to leave in like 15 and I just got out of the shower, so here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely seeing more coverage. It's zooming you in uncomfortably close. Let's do it. I'm gonna see how it just blends in there. Hmm. And yesterday I didn't end up needing to set my face with a powder and I'm a powder lover. So I'm curious adding more product. Is that still gonna apply? Is that still gonna work? I don't know. It feels like it's drying, but it is so light. It's so light. I figured yesterday's would be light because you know, it was just a, with the blender 
and the blender can really make things feel smoothed out. Definitely has more coverage. Gonna move on to doing some brows while this dries and just see how things look. I do feel like with my particular brush, and maybe it's because it wasn't 100% clean, it is looking a bit a touch cakey. So I just wanna take the sponge and just even things out, which is something I would do anyway when I'm using a brush, just to kind of like make everything look seamless. Okay, I'm just gonna do the brows really quick. This is not part of the tutorial. This is just me giving it time. Guys, it already feels like this is really drying. It's still a touch tacky, especially in like these kind of areas, but I'm surprised. So it says I don't need to powder it. I'm gonna jump into my Merit Bronzer stick because I do love this. I think it's very natural and subtle, and this is one I would use anyway. I feel like a powder test is definitely going to be like a factor soon, but I wanna do what I normally would. Seems to be going on pretty well. Maybe it's a touch tacky in some areas, so it might need a little bit more blending, but nothing is grabbing in a negative way. Let's also try going in with a more oily blush. See how this does. My skin does look like my skin, but better with some more coverage though. Like I'm still seeing freckles, but I'm also seeing the products I'm applying. Cause I'm not supposed to, I don't need to powder, but I did just put down an oil, but we're gonna do a little bit of this bronzer that I do love. Obviously from the amount of pan on it, I know how it operates, how it works. I'm honestly surprised right now because I'm such a powder slave. I'm such a creature of habit as well when it comes to how I apply certain makeup that this is really surprising me. Okay. Okay. Getting ready to go out the door. So I guess what I will do since they did send me the all nighter, let's just do the all nighter. Cause there's a bit more makeup here, but I did not powder. So we're going to see how this holds up. You know what I mean? We're going to see how waterproof is she? We'll see what kind of tests I can do today. Okay. So this is about five, five and a half ish hours Later, I'm such a face toucher. And yes, I was out in the hot sun. I'm gonna get real close for ya. You can definitely still see my freckles, but you definitely still see coverage. I did not powder anything. I have not touched anything up. I did do the spray down as you saw, but other than that, like this just looks like my skin, but better. Everything looks even, nothing looking bunching, nothing looks cakey. At first when it was drying down, I was worried it was gonna look cakey, but it's not. It's really not. It's not really looking shiny too much either. There's a little bit of shine right here, but just doing that kind of helped too, honestly, just like my natural face oils. So for day two of like the thicker coverage with the brush, I'm pretty, pleased honestly i think everything just looks very natural i like that but still covered which is important and i will say at the end of the day when i wanted to see how waterproof is the medium coverage i went into my bathroom and i did like just splash a bunch of water on my face and i was surprised that nothing budged my face looked wet but nothing budged as far as makeup went so i was like okay how do i get this off and my regular cleanser once i really worked it in did a great job of actually removing the waterproof urban decay foundation so i was really happy that i could splash my face get it wet and it did not budge it didn't go anywhere it looked just like it had only wetter now today i filmed the full coverage portion of the video Why Welcome to day three, where we are gonna be real serious about today's tests. I mean, real serious. We're pulling the hair back. We are going to be really testing if the full coverage of this is waterproof. And the third way that we're supposed to apply Urban Decay Face Bond is with the fingers. So you know we're gonna try it. I'm gonna use the new KVD primer that I got from a subscription box. This is the one I'm testing currently. So we're just gonna put this on real quick. It's supposed to blur some pores. Got just a little bit time to sit so she's tacky. Now we're gonna go in with the phalanges. You have to get off the plane. What, why? I have this feeling that something's wrong with it. Something is wrong with the left phalange. This is supposed to give us the most coverage here. So we are going to test this out. I can already see that's pretty accurate. 
wondering how much I need to put on. If we're doing it the full coverage way, we should be able to really see some waterproofness here. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go all in. Wow, I'm actually really impressed with how well this is applying with the fingers. Like, look at this, this is what the phalange is here. I'm gonna take the lighter shade, shade 10. I'm gonna do it as a little bit of a concealer for under the eyes. Could you still use a concealer with this? Yes, and I have. But I'm just playing with the shades that I was given to see if I can get some maximum waterproofness. You guys, this actually applies really well with the fingers. <laughs> I am a little shocked to be quite honest with you. I feel like even with this full coverage, it's it's still really complementary to skin. Like I can still see like some light freckles, but I still feel very put together. I still feel very clean, very covered, very blended. I haven't even used anything else other than my fingers, you guys. So I'm actually pretty impressed. I do kind of want to layer up just a touch more because I want to test the waterproof theory. Whew. I also want to see does it get cakey when you use your fingers? Everybody has different makeup preferences, you know? I'm really impressed with how this is laying and not getting too too crazy. Now I know not everybody does thick foundations anymore because that used to be like the thing. We all wanted a thick matte foundation. Some people still love that, but I'm curious, does this even do that? Some people don't want to see their freckles but it really does go over seamlessly. I will say after allowing it to dry just a little bit, it is staying a little bit tackier for a little bit longer, but with a thicker coverage, you kind of expect that. I'm not setting this down. I'm not doing any powders. And you guys, what we're gonna do next is really test this to see how waterproof is this, especially when layered up. Now I'm not saying this process is gonna be pretty y'all because it's, it's probably not. <laughs> Now I did think about going to jump into a pool or into the ocean, but I'm kind of pressed for time and I wanna do this whole video for you guys today because I'm really curious. Okay, and just so you know, this is how time to set and it is setting to the point that I'm like, I can see why people say they don't need a powder. Since I did layer it up a bit, it's only like, it's actually really good. I'm really shocked by this. And I don't see too much cakiness. This is a natural light. I really don't see any. I'm, I'm kind of loving this, you guys. I thought about going to a pool that's just next door at my neighbor's. And then I thought, I'm gonna have to take a full shower then because my hair's gonna be a mess. How many times in life do you change all of your routines around your hair wash days? I, I do it all the time. It's kind of annoying. Okay, giving you another before look. All right, let's just see here. And then I'm just I'm just gonna be diving my whole face into this. Oh boy, I gotta make sure you guys can see what's happening. And I have my towel on hand. Still giving you the before face. We're still looking really, really good. I mean, honestly, the water's a little bit warm. Kind of like it's been sitting out for quite some time. A little more warm than room temperature, I would say. I'm getting all my towels ready. Okay, we're gonna do the full face dunk. Well, I'm just trying to tap off the excess so I don't drip all over the place. I'm looking to see if anything comes off on this white towel. I, I hardly see anything at all. You guys. Is this waterproof, like legit waterproof? Okay, I am seeing up here around the edges, a line, okay. Now who's gonna be dunking their whole face into a big bucket of water? I don't know, I mean, some people may wanna go swimming with this on, we're gonna find out. So what I'm gonna do is do another dunk and we're just gonna keep seeing how this progresses or falls apart. Are we ready? The things I do for my YouTube videos. Okay, keep in mind, it's gonna look a little pancakey because I have no other makeup on just this because I wanted to test this out. I feel like I might be getting some in my eyes a little bit, but the towel is still really clean. Like this much here is from the brows because I did add a little bit of brows on. The nose is coming apart, which was very normal for me as far as what's gonna be coming apart first. We're starting to see more makeup coming off 
but as you can see it's still very very light it's not really a bunch considering not only was this my second dunk in but also I literally am just holding my breath and like smooshing my face around in the water. All right, let's go around for round three. You guys, this stuff is like waterproof. I mean, the claims are legit because I still even just see how it's moving with my skin as I make faces. Under the eyes is more like, I think some dead mascara that's falling under my eyes that I didn't put on any today, but I thought I cleaned it all off. I'm moving around in the water too, like I was swimming or something. I'm really impressed with how like the face looks. In person, it really does look like, the nose is starting to fall apart at the tip. That is all I'm seeing. The hairline is falling apart too, but honestly, I'm super impressed. <laughs> We're gonna go one more time for funsies. Guys, this is waterproof. I mean, I've now done four major dunks into this water. I have tested it with like the swimming method while you're still sitting in your head into a bucket of water where you're just going back and forth. I'm so impressed, beyond impressed. As this dries, am I gonna be able to put something on top of it? Probably not as well as I would if I had it all on initially. That's why I didn't do anything else because if I did have like a bunch of mascara on and things like that, you would be able to see other things running and I really wanted to focus on this foundation. I'm so impressed. Quite honestly, let's just do this. Look, you don't see like a full mask of makeup coming off and I layered that stuff on so thick. You guys, I'm really impressed with this. I am so impressed with this from Urban Decay. It is still so well covered in these areas so well covered. I am shocked right now. I didn't know how well this is gonna stay together or fall apart. I'm, I'm so pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna let it keep drying for a bit and then I'm gonna come back for a final check-in after this big face dunk and swimming around and I mean I'm soaked so let's just see how it fully dries. I'm zooming you in you guys. I'm so impressed right now. Okay, I've done no touch-ups. I have done nothing. This feels so dry. This feels like a second skin, really. There is a little bit of heaviness now, probably because I have now like loosened it up and then it re-dried. But you guys, I'm so impressed with this. My nose has definitely like on the tip here, you know, seen better days. But the rest of the face right now, it looks so perfect. It looks normal. It looks great. Under the eyes, I think there's some old mascara coming down, so that's not the foundation at all. Up here, I could see where it's kind of like detached from the, you know, the root line area where the hairline is. But I'm so impressed with how well this stood up to essentially giving my whole face a bath four different times. This is a lot of water, you guys. This isn't a little bit. Absolutely waterproof absolutely waterproof. I'm so impressed. It feels fine. Like if I now needed to go out and do things, if I even needed to put makeup on top of this just to do some touch-ups and go, I feel totally fine because this doesn't feel heavy. This doesn't feel cakey. This feels fine. Such a great win. The absolute final look, which is essentially my fourth look using different brush because I wanted to see how that would look. This is a KVD brush that I have really liked through the years. And I think it did a beautiful job applying both. I had both of the shades on because I do like to mix and match. Full face was in the 12, under the eyes and in the highlighted areas, the 10. I did today use a lot of my cream makeup pieces that I love for bronzers and blushes. Because I like a little extra umph with my bronzer, I did wanna go in with my favorite bronzer on top and as we know that is a powder but it does still look really seamless it does still look really beautiful i did not use any powders other than that to set and i will say after it's given some time it does feel really like it's already been set and it doesn't feel heavy it's not feeling cakey this is more the medium style coverage but i did layer it up again under the eyes because i wanted to add a little bit more of the brighter shade and i did not set the under eyes that's the other thing that shocks me i'm gonna zoom you in these are unset under eyes this is an unset nose 
would Nicole ever do this on a regular wild day of makeup? No, never. I have never thought I could not set my under eyes. But since I have been using this product, I have not been setting the under eyes. They don't look super creasy. They don't look super cakey. They look very normal for me. I really think this looks great. Now I will say I was thinking before I put on just a touch more bronzer, which I prefer to do anyway from this particular product. I did think I looked a little bit more shiny than I normally would, but I think that was an oil blush I was using, not the base, because as you've seen throughout this video, this really does a beautiful job of setting down and giving you that skin-like look so there is some dewiness, some glowiness to your skin, but not pancake face and also not overly glowy face. I'm really impressed by that. So I am going to say that I think this sets down beautifully without powder and I think it is also stunning for being waterproof. You have seen now as I dunked my head into water multiple times today that it looks really great. Did the nose break apart and the hairline a little bit? But does that not mean you couldn't touch it up and fix it? Yeah, you could. They were all really minor compared to the rest of the face. And I'm so pleased with how this looks today. Again, no powders. I'm shocked and it's not tacky. It's not sticking. Let me get a white towel test to show you. Ooh. Okay, we got the white towel ready. Let's see how this works. I have no idea. I haven't even tested it. I'm just pressing it to my face. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy, you guys. I really like this product. I think it does a really great job for people with my type of skin or even oilier because let's be serious. I used to have super duper oily skin. So I know there are people out there with more oily skin than I. I think if you are looking for a really great product that you don't have to set with powders in case it's gonna feel too cakey or too much on your face, this is a super great product for you. Also, if you're wanting something that is going to be waterproof, last, not look cakey or anything on your skin, this is a great option. Let me know if this is going to be something you're going to be trying, if you're interested in it. I am so grateful that I did get to try these and that the fact that I love them. After all of these tests, that says a lot. Thank you so much to Urban Decay for sending me these products. It's totally not sponsored, but I'm so excited to be able to tell you about them. And don't forget to check out my most recent video that I did as an extra video for a FabFitFun over on Thursday. Go check that video out because I'm sure a lot of you guys missed it because it's not my normal upload day, but I wanted to get another one in there for you. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends.